At 11 o'clock Thursday night, fire officials told Andy and her husband they only had 15 minutes to evacuate from their house. Minutes later, they were pounding on all the windows and told us we just had a couple minutes to get up to the second floor. So they tried to grab what they could and left behind the cherished valuables they weren't able to get to. I went down the basement to try to get my grandfather's things and the washer and dryer were bobbing like a pinball ball. And the water just came up and to about three stairs before the first floor. And we just grabbed what we could. At that point, officials told them it was too late to leave. The water levels were quickly rising outside. So the homeowners headed up to higher ground where they waited until it was all over. I've got a basement that's been wiped out that's filled with my life's history. Andy says there's only one word to describe their experience. It was just surreal. It was just surreal gathering what you could because imagining the first floor was going to flood and just grabbing computers and photo albums and you literally had three minutes.